It's been five months since the Palm City Markets held its monthly weekend markets. Organized by Pasco Event Management, the market is a local marketing platform for SMEs and individuals who are looking to sell their products such as blouses, jewelry, billums, plants, crafts and even food. Market manager Mari Mapai says the market was closed due to the SOE and the organizers are glad they have been given the approval from the controller for the market to take place. It's really great to have the market open to uh, finally help the SMEs. Uh, as we are all the SMEs, we, we have been really struggling during the lockdown so it's very helpful to have the markets open and we are really excited about this first market and we hope we continue to have the markets on. SME owners were also relieved and happy that the markets have returned. Andrew Napoleon, the co-owner of Unique Collection, says SMEs like his business revenue was affected during the SOE and is happy they now sell their products again. It's a relief for uh, every one of us, especially the small SMEs. Um, it's a relief. We've seen that uh, when it's up and running, we've actually made uh, the income out of it and then uh, it's really good and also there's the place here is nice very nice and more secured we feel safe and secured in this place the market's new location was also commended Stella Rumbam, the owner of RR clothing says the location is safe spacious and great for city market goers most importantly for me I think uh, it's given that opportunity for us to also come to our local uh, museum, um, give the children this uh, time to have a look at it. I don't think most of us come around here with our children, but um, the new location has given that opportunity. Among the SMEs today was also Malin Akop, a lawyer and writer who recently published her book titled The PNG Dream. She says the market has provided her an avenue for her not only to sell her blouses but her book. It is a great opportunity for uh, women around the city to come and sell, you know, things that they make and create with their own hands, you know, and it helps them to earn an income, especially in our, at the the state of the economy right now. The title of my book is The PNG Dream and uh, it's, uh, it's about uh, encouraging and inspiring young Papua New Guineans, especially the students, to have a goal in their lives, to, to, be, to dream big dreams. Anit Kora, National MTV News.